my friends. I believe deep in my heart that I've been sent with a word just for you. Yes, for you. Some of you have been walking through hard seasons. Maybe you've been waiting, wondering, when will things change for me? You've been knocking on doors that just wouldn't open. You felt stuck, frustrated, maybe even worn out. But listen to me closely. God is about to open the door to your new season. Let me say it again for those in the back. Your new season is coming. And I want you to hear this, not just with your ears, but with your spirit. I'm not talking about just any kind of change. I'm talking about the kind of breakthrough that shifts everything. God is setting things up right now, behind the scenes. And when he opens that door, no one will be able to shut it. You've been through enough already, haven't you? I know it feels like the wait has been forever. It's been hard, and it's made you question if God even hears your prayers. But I want you to remember what it says in Revelation 3, 8. I have placed before you an open door that no one can shut. That open door is coming. You've been faithful in the little things. You've been holding on when others gave up. Even when you didn't see a way forward, you kept believing. And because you didn't quit, God is about to reward you. The wait hasn't been wasted. It's been preparation. Every tear you cried, every prayer you prayed, and every time you held on to hope, it's all been building up to this moment. God knows how hard it's been. He knows the moments you wanted to quit, but somehow you kept going. That's why this next season isn't just going to be a small shift. It's going to be a transformation. See, when God opens a door, it's not like a door you or I might open. This is a supernatural door. It's a door that no boss, no enemy, no bad break, and no negative voice can close. When God says, it's time, it is time. There's no more waiting for other people to approve it. No one can take what God is about to release into your life. I want you to lean into this today. Stop worrying about the doors that have been shut. Stop rehearsing the things that didn't work out. I know it hurt. I know it hurt. I know it made you feel like you missed your chance. But the truth is, those closed doors were God's way of protecting you. He's been working to open the right door, not just a door to anything, the door to your next season. Isaiah 43, 19 says, See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? God is doing a new thing for you. But sometimes we don't notice the new season right away because we're so focused on the old. You've got to stop looking back at what didn't work. Stop waiting for things to go back to the way they were. That season is over. And the new one is here. Look at me, church. Don't you dare miss what God is about to do because you're still looking behind you. God is moving forward, and He wants you to move forward, too. That new thing He's doing is about to spring up. He says it's already happening. Can't you feel it in your spirit? That's not just emotion. That's God telling you to get ready. Right now, your job is to stay in position. Don't give up right before the door opens. Sometimes, the hardest part of a journey is right before the breakthrough. And I know, some of you are tired. You're thinking, Pastor. I don't know how much longer I can hold on. But listen, this is not the time to back down. This is not the time to lose faith. You are closer now than you have ever been. Every delay, every detour, every no, you heard. It was all leading you here. God knows exactly when and how to open that door for you. And when it opens, everything will fall into place. That season of waiting will be over, and you'll see that it was all worth it. My friends, when God opens a door, you have to do more than stand there looking at it. 
you've got to have the courage to walk through that door. And if we're being real today, sometimes that's the hardest part. Isn't it? It's not the waiting. It's the stepping forward when the door finally opens. Let's talk about that. What do you do when God opens the door to your next season? The truth is, when God opens a door, it may not always look how you expected. You might be praying for a miracle, but what shows up might look like a challenge. That's because every new season requires faith. If you only walk through doors that feel safe, you'll never reach the fullness of what God has for you. Here's the thing. Just because the door opens doesn't mean everything will be easy. God might open a door to a new opportunity, but it will take boldness to step into it. Some of you have been praying for promotion, but when God opens the door, it may come with greater responsibility. You've been praying for a new beginning, but that new beginning might require you to leave your comfort zone. This is why 2 Corinthians 5, 7 reminds us, for we walk by faith, not by sight. Walking by faith means trusting that God will meet you on the other side of the door, even if you don't have all the details figured out. Some of us are waiting for everything to be perfect before we move. But listen, God doesn't give us all the answers up front. If He did, we wouldn't need faith. When He opens the door, He's asking, do you trust me enough to walk through, even when you can't see what's next? Can I be honest with you, church? One of the biggest reasons people miss their new season isn't because the door didn't open. It's because fear held them back. Fear whispers things like, What if I fail? What if I'm not good enough? What if I'm not ready? I know what fear sounds like because I've been there too. It'll make you question every good thing God tries to do in your life. But let me remind you of something. God didn't bring you this far to leave you now. If He opened the door, it means you are ready, even if you don't feel like it. Isaiah 41, 10 says, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. That's God's promise to you. He's not just going to open the door and leave you to figure it out on your own. No, He's going to walk with you every step of the way. So don't let fear keep you standing on the wrong side of the door. Your new season is waiting, and you don't want to miss it. Now, let me tell you something else. When God opens a new door, it means the old door is closing. And sometimes, that's the hardest part. Leaving the old season behind. Some of us are so used to the old season that even when God opens something new, we're tempted to cling to what's familiar. But listen to me. You can't step into the new while still holding on to the old. That old season served its purpose. It shaped you. It grew you. But it's time to let it go. It's kind of like when the seasons change in nature. You can't bring summer into winter. You can't wear flip-flops in the snow. Each season requires something new. And just like in nature, your new season will require you to step into new habits, new mindsets, and new levels of faith. I know change isn't easy. It's comfortable to stay where you are, even if where you are isn't where you want to be. But listen, God has more for you. The only way to receive what He has is to let go of what was. When God opens the door, it won't always make sense. You might feel unqualified. You might feel like you don't have all the resources you need. But here's the truth. God wouldn't open the door if you weren't ready. He's not asking you to be perfect. He's asking you to trust Him. This is your moment. This is the season you've been waiting for. The waiting is over, and the door is open. Now it's time to step through. So, what will you do?
Will you stand there, letting fear and doubt keep you stuck? Or will you take a deep breath, trust God, and step into your new season with boldness? I believe in my heart that some of you are standing at the edge of the biggest breakthrough of your life. The door is open, and all that's left is for you to take the first step. It might feel scary. It might feel uncertain. But I promise you this. On the other side of that door is everything you've been praying for. Your new season is here. God is opening doors. No one can shut. He's making a way where there seemed to be no way. But it's up to you to walk through. So today, I want to encourage you. Don't let fear stop you. Don't let doubt hold you back. The same God who opened the door will walk with you through it. Trust Him. Move forward. Your new season is waiting. Beloved friends, we've talked about God opening doors and how it takes faith to walk through them. We also discussed the importance of leaving the old season behind and stepping into the new. Now, here's the question for today. What do you do once you've walked through that door? See, many people think that once the door opens, the journey is over. But let me tell you, the door is just the beginning. Walking into your new season means you're stepping into new opportunities, new challenges, and new responsibilities. But listen, it also means you're walking into God's favor and His promises. Now, let's get real for a minute. Just because you've stepped into your new season doesn't mean it will be without challenges. Every time God promotes you, the enemy will try to discourage you. That's just the truth. But here's the good news. Opposition is a sign that you're exactly where you need to be. The enemy wouldn't fight you if you weren't carrying something valuable. Don't get surprised if things don't get easier right away. In fact, they might feel harder at first. But that's because you're breaking new ground. You're stepping into something bigger than yourself. And anything worth having will come with a fight. That's why God reminds us in Galatians 6, 9. Let us not grow weary in doing good. For at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. So when things get tough, and they will, don't give up. Don't assume you made the wrong decision just because the road gets bumpy. Remember, your breakthrough is on the other side of perseverance. God didn't bring you this far to leave you. He's with you in every challenge, and He will give you the strength to push through. Another key to thriving in your new season is to stay humble and focused. Sometimes, when the new season finally arrives, it's easy to get caught up in the excitement. Maybe it's the new job the new opportunity or a prayer that's finally been answered. And if we're not careful, we can forget the one who opened the door in the first place. Let me remind you, the blessing is not the destination. Your relationship with God is. The new season isn't just about what God is giving you. It's about how you can walk with Him through it. I want you to hear me today. Stay close to God in every step of your new season. The same God who opened the door for you is the same God who will sustain you. Don't stop praying. Don't stop seeking Him. Don't get so focused on the blessing that you lose sight of the one who gave it to you. Proverbs 3, 6 gives us some wisdom for this journey. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. That means every step you take. Keep God first. Before you make decisions, invite Him into the process. Before you celebrate the victory, give Him the praise. Your new season will only stay blessed if you keep the blesser at the center of it. Now, here's something that might surprise you. Your new season isn't just about you. When God blesses you, it's because He also wants to bless others through you. You've been positioned in this new season for a purpose that's bigger than yourself. Think about it. The door God opened wasn't just to make your life easier. 
it was to place you where you could make a difference. Maybe God opened that new job opportunity so you can be a light to your co-workers. Maybe he brought you through a tough season so you could encourage someone else who's going through the same thing. When God blesses you, it's never just about you. It's about how he can use your story to touch the lives of others. And here's the beautiful thing. When you live with that mindset, the blessings keep flowing. God keeps pouring into those who are willing to pour out. So ask yourself today, who can I bless in this new season? Who can I encourage? How can I use this opportunity to show the love of God? Friends, I want to leave you with a challenge. Walk boldly into your new season, but never forget to walk with gratitude. Boldness means you step forward, even when you don't have all the answers. Gratitude means you thank God every step of the way, knowing that without Him, none of it would be possible. There will be days in your new season where you feel overwhelmed. There will be days when you feel like you're not enough. But every time you feel that way, I want you to remember this. God didn't open this door by accident. He chose you for this season, and He will equip you for everything you need along the way. If you can walk in boldness and gratitude, trusting God with every step, you'll not only make it through this new season, you'll thrive in it. The doors God opens are meant to bring life, purpose, and joy, not just for you, but for everyone around you. This is it, church. This is your time. The door is open. The old season is behind you, and the new one is here. Now it's time to walk into it with faith, humility, and purpose. God has already gone ahead of you. He's cleared the path, and He's waiting to show you all the good things He's prepared. So let me ask you one last time. Are you ready to walk into your new season? No more hesitation. No more fear. No more looking back. It's time to step forward into everything God has for you. Beloved family, if this message has blessed and encouraged you, I invite you to share it with others. Someone out there is waiting for a word of hope, and you can be the person who brings it to them. Let's spread the message that God is opening new doors and doing miraculous things in this season. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future words of encouragement, teachings, and prayers. Stay connected as we grow together in faith. And most importantly, keep praying. God is moving, and when we come together in prayer, miracles happen. If you need prayer or have a testimony to share, drop it in the comments or reach out. We'd love to stand with you in faith. This is your season. Step into it boldly, and let's walk together in the promises of God. God bless you and those around you. Now let us conclude this message with prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the word you've spoken over us, that this is a time of miracles, restoration, and breakthrough. We know that nothing is too hard for you, and we stand in faith, trusting that you are working even when we cannot see it. Father, we lift up every person in need of a miracle right now. You are the God of the impossible, and we ask you to move in mighty ways. Where situations seem hopeless, bring new hope. Where doors have been shut, open new ones. Where there has been delay, bring acceleration. We declare that the time of waiting is over and that your promises are coming to pass. Lord, we ask for restoration in every area of our lives. Restore broken relationships, mend hearts that have been hurt, and bring healing to families that have been divided. Restore dreams that have been lost and give new life to every calling and purpose you've placed within us. Whatever the enemy has stolen, we declare that it will be returned, multiplied, and overflowing. Thank you, God, that you are a God who restores 
what was broken and makes all things new. We also pray for financial provision. Lord, you are our provider, and we believe that you supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory. Open doors of opportunity, release unexpected blessings, and make a way where there seems to be no way, where there seems to be no way. For those in debt, bring freedom. For those seeking employment or financial breakthrough, we ask that you would make a way right now. Teach us to be good stewards of the resources you entrust to us and bless us so that we can be a blessing to others. Finally, Lord, we pray for healing. You, the God who heals, and we believe that nothing is beyond your power. Touch every person struggling with sickness or pain. Heal bodies, renew minds, and bring peace to anxious hearts. We speak life, health, and strength over every person in need. Let your healing power flow into every hospital room, every household, and every heart right now. We declare that by your stripes. We are healed. Father, we thank you in advance for the miracles, the restoration, the financial provision, and the healing that is on the way. We believe that this new season is filled with your favor and blessings. Help us to walk in faith, trusting you even when things seem difficult. Give us the strength to stay obedient, the courage to embrace growth, and the wisdom to be a light to those around us. We know that you are faithful, and we stand on your promises today. We declare that our best days are ahead, and we walk boldly into this new season, knowing that you are with us every step of the way. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.